Hello everyone, this is Malki Asad and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about a question I get asked a lot, especially from foreign grads, which is, should I take step one first or step two? I myself struggled through this question when I was preparing for my USMLE exams and then I decided to take step one first. I'm going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of both and then you can take the decision for yourself. Taking step one first will make it much easier for preparing for step two because step one covers the foundation of your medical knowledge. It covers uh, materials like anatomy, physiology, pathology, pharmacology, and if you don't have a good understanding of these subjects, it might be very hard to study the materials of step two. Well, it's a misunderstanding that step one only covers basic science while step two covers clinical. Because also in, in step two, you will get asked about basic science stuff less frequently than step one, but you need this knowledge in order to understand the disease process and best management. Students who are early in their medical education, like second year in a four-year program or third, fourth in a six-year program, might find it easier to start preparing for step one because the subjects they're studying in school are more similar to the materials of step one. I agree in this situation, especially that these students can use step one to apply for electives. I would say the majority of electives in the US require step one before applying. So by doing step one first, it can give you the opportunity to uh, increase your clinical experience in the US, which is a main component of your residency application. And another advantage for these students is that it will make it much easier to prepare for step two and also for your coming years in medical school. So if you have a good foundation of the materials of step one, it will make it way easier to go in your clinical years in medical school. And that's why they have it in the US. Step one, you do it usually between your second and third year of medical school in a four year program, and then you do step two in your third or fourth year. For those who are late in their medical school, uh, they usually prefer to start with step two. Why? Because it's more similar to the subjects that they studied, they are studying now in medical school, and it's been a while since they studied anatomy, physiology, and the other materials covered during step one. Although that is true to a large extent, but they have to go back to these materials at one point in time. And although you, they might be able to pass step two and understand the main concepts, having a good background of step one will make it way easier to study the materials of step two. Having done step two before step one might make it more challenging to apply for electives because you need your step one score and you need to apply in advance for these electives which will make it harder to finish everything before you you graduate another point i want to touch on is that you might get asked questions in your step two from step one materials and i myself got several questions in my step two that i wouldn't be able to answer without step one knowledge so in general i believe that you can start with either exam first, but if you start step one first, it will make it much easier to understand the disease process and the pathophysiology of disease and mechanism of action of medications rather than if you start step two first. However, if you start any exam, it will make it easier for the other. Finally, I want to touch on the point that some students are interested in coming to the US but they're not 100% sure. For these students they might consider doing step 2 first because the information covered in step 2 is probably going to be tested in any medical exam they do. For example if they come to Canada, Canada doesn't have an exam that covers step 1 materials while the exam they have covers step 2 materials. So in this situation it will help you pass other medical exams in other countries and in your own country why step one is not generally tested outside the US. I hope you enjoyed this episode today. If you like it, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Malki Asad. Thank you so much for watching and see you in future episodes.